I know a lot of people take issue with my beliefs. I'm white. What the fuck? Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you, Susie from the Rugrats, look and repeat exactly what the f you just said. Your skin is the same tone as a Milky Way bar, and you're trying to claim that you're a human polar bear? Well, I thought I would have never said this, but I think I found the first ever colorblind racer. I ain't desperate. Got a death wish, I wake up every morning, got a Zanny in her legs. Welcome back, boys. It's another video more beautiful than Dr. Phil's hairline. Okay, so we all love a good old Yeehaw with Phil McGraw, right? No. Nothing beats watching that man's forehead wrinkles crumple like a ruffled ship. His smile will just open up any heart up, instantly. Like, I think we all can agree that Dr. Phil can steal your girl or any girl that matter. He's just a little pimp. <laughs> I was casually performing my religious ceremony in my Dr. Phil shrine when I came across a video that sort of caught my eye. I read the title, which sounds like something Jim Crow himself would have wrote, and it says, When it comes to black people, I think they're all ugly. This ain't it, chief! Now, judging by the title, I would have thought that a leader of the KKK would have wrote this. But when I saw the thumbnail, I was surprised to see that it was just your average ghetto hot Cheeto for breakfast. Is ninth grader. So without further ado, let's see how Roberta from the Cleveland show explains how she hates her own kind. I'm a Caucasian because everything about me is different from an African American. The only thing bigger than your ego is a gap in between your teeth. <laughs> I have naturally straight hair. My hair isn't nappy. It doesn't require weave. My nose is not giant. It's like African Americans. My lips are perfect. Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck was that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think every black person has a ship anchor for a nose. So what you said makes absolutely like no sense at all in any shape or form. Also, you said your lips aren't too big, but in reality, it looks like you have puffer fish oh, on your mouth. They're not too big and they're not too small. Like, they're just perfect. My ears, I don't have black people ears. I, I don't have black people ears. Why is this woman assuming everything on black people are just big? And like, I mean, we all know what something is that's big on black people. Assuming everything on black people are big. Like, in what way does that practically make any sense? Like, you're just roasting yourself at this point, and that's why you don't even know that you're doing it. That's the saddest part. Because they're really giant. Most African Americans speak ghetto. The fuck? They speak ghetto, didn't know ghetto was an official language. Imagine if that was like in Google Translate. Like, you just put something in a ghetto, and your computer just pulls out a strap and speaks in a big black buff nib of Tyrone. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, this has to be a troll. I refuse to believe people would be somehow that stupid. Well, when it comes to black people, I think they're all ugly and I have nothing in common with them. I'm different from African Americans because I'm white. My figure is just like Kim Kardashian. Fuck no! Her figure is exactly the opposite of Kim K, considering she looks flatter than an IHOP pancake. Like, for real, how are you going to go as far to say that you look like Kim Kardashian? You guys are not even the same skin tone, so what are you talking about? It's a wonderful role model. I act and I think like a white person instead of a black person. Man, so if you read one page of a magazine, you automatically become William Shakespeare himself. You know, last time I checked, not all African Americans act like they're in a Ugandan tribe. Like, does this woman think all of them live in the Amazon rainforest? I don't understand. I believe that I'm completely and um, utterly better than them. Like, we're on two different levels. Like, okay, African Americans are here. I'm here. White people act and think just way more mature than African Americans. Black people, they think in a criminal way. I feel like asking them, what is wrong with them? Have you ever tried asking that to a mirror? Like seriously, the only person you should be asking what's wrong with them is you. Like seriously, how many times did your mom have to Hulk Hogan leg drop you to be this ignorant? I'm convinced at this point the doctor used burger tongs to pull her out bitch. the womb. They're really dangerous. If African American is on the same street as I am, I'll cross the street to avoid their chaotic, thuggish ways. So if she saw even Steve Urkel just walking down the street, you would dash the other side of the road because you're scared of his the thug bitch. status? Like, does she cross herself? I'm so lost for words right now. Like, how do these people live with themselves being racist of their own kind? Are you okay? I'm irritated. I'm sorry. I just know that I'm white. To be arrested? Yep, you're gonna be arrested. You look like a Sully yeah, from you, Monsters Inc. You look like a boy who's about to go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she might not know that I'm white, but I know that I'm white. I can feel it through my veins. I feel it through my blood. I can just feel the whiteness circling within me. I really just kicked in when I bought organic food at my local farmer's market. You know, the real albino rush I got was last night when I was watching Wes Anderson movies. That's when I really felt like Amy Schumer. I tell my mom I'll never be like any of those girls. My mom tries to criticize me about my supposed race. I tell her she's just ignorant. There's nothing wrong with my views. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, yeah, everything is wrong with your views and beliefs. Being racist is the first step, but being racist against your own kind and claiming it to be a different race, it's just hurling that step out of a four-story oh balcony. My God. <laughs> beliefs, because I have freedom of speech and everything I'm saying is true.
Okay, Treasure, how are you this morning? Pretty great, how are you? I'm all right. That's great. You Why is she talking like an African Hi, Mickey Mouse? How are you doing, Treasure? Oh, 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 I'm doing great, how, how are you? Sound it You've been listening to everything we've talked about so far, Yes, right? I have. And is there anything that your mom has said or told me about that's inaccurate, incomplete, or that you want to add something to? Well, I mean, actually, yeah. You guys called me delusional earlier, and I feel like the only people I did who not call you delusional. I asked your mother if she thought you were delusional. Yes, well, you asked. Oh. I'm crazy here, but I don't think her mom is wrong. This girl's vision must be equivalent to an MS Paint landscape drawing for her to be saying this stuff. Also, Dr. Phil's forehead shine is really looking extra bright today. I may need to put on my UV shades just looking at that beauty. Asked her that question, I would like to clarify yeah. the fact that I am nowhere near delusional. I'm actually very capable and a very intelligent person. Well, yeah, you would be if you were a white person saying this. Well, actually, no, she'll still be racist. But, like, you know, it's just funny how she's so confident in what she says without realizing how stupid she looks. If she doesn't have at least five brain disorders, and that's like saying O.J. Simpson didn't clap the pizza guy's cheek. So. Uh -huh. Being delusional and being intelligent are not mutually exclusive. Well, I feel like if you're being delusional, then you've got to be some type of retarded. Oh, shit! Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure your brain is split like a blob of jello. Her brain is probably looking like the roadmap of the Mississippi River. And I'm not that. Well, <laughs> I have two things to say about that. Number one, that's absolutely just simply not the fact. And number two, uh, using that word uh, is very derogatory. So I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't use that word. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll understand. Tell me why you believe that to be true. Well, I know I'm a Caucasian because when I wake up in the morning, I just have such a great life, and that my hair is so perfect, my skin isn't ugly, and I'm not fat also, which is also a really African-American thing. Huh? What? What? I'm sorry, every black guy isn't Fat Albert himself. Most of the obese people I see are overweight hillbillies that live in trailer homes. You know, those people who race on their grocery cart scooters like they're playing Mario Kart 7 on Rainbow Road and Giant Eagle. Like, I swear, some of these people's bodies are built like Soviet tanks. So, like, I'm just nowhere near like them. And plus, they're so thug and criminal that I can't relate. Okay. Um. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, okay. Well, th I mean, that's just so riddled with ignorance I, I don't even know how to respond <laughs> there you go dr phil roasts her so hard that she actually turns white because how traumatized she'll be after your flame session i never understood why people go on dr phil like i feel like they just know they're going to make an embarrassment of themselves like it has to be solely for attention though why they go on there okay and, um, and ethnicity because race is really biologically Determined. I know I'm biologically white. I feel and it through my veins and through my blood. I don't just think I'm white. I know that I'm white. And There's no doubt in my mind. You even, said, even though I have told you that your father was not your father and that you are actually African American. Wait, did she say your dad left her? Well, I mean, I, can, I really can't blame the man if he had this swim out of you. Well, technically, she was white at some point because she was a sperm cell. You might be lying. I don't trust anything that anyone else says. I know that I'm white. Ethnicity, on the other hand, uh, has to do with whether or not you identify with a particular group in terms of their culture and practices, beliefs, religion. Well, it's pretty obvious you don't know what a mirror is. It's like, is her vision a 1959 TV? All right, boys, well, I'm going to cut it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed this colorblind racist. Honestly, I don't know how many brain cells I've lost from this video. Probably too many to count. I don't know how people can just wake up and function like this without making a general embarrassment on themselves. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Slap a like on this video before your dad slaps you. Subscribe if you hit my vibe. Follow my Twitter link down below. I'll try to upload more. Obviously, I've been slacking the last couple weeks, but I'm going to stay back on the grime. Alright, boys. So she think we closer, but TBH, I don't even know. I ain't desperate, uh, got a death wish. Uh, I wake up every morning, got a Zanny and a.